look, it says and and broadcast now. Oh, we're live. <laughs> we're live. It went live. Yeah. Okay, I, girl. Did I not just say that? Okay, so sorry. This is um, that might be the volume right there. Um, sorry, we're we're running behind, but it, honestly, it wouldn't even let us go live. It's so crazy. Um, it said there was too much traffic on the internet, so it wouldn't let us go live. But we're live now, so welcome to Fabric Chicks Live at noon. Um, although you're not live on my phone yet. You have three people. Okay. Hi, Peggy. Hi, Connie. Um, who else is there, Gracie? Um, Lynn. Hi, Mary Beattie. Wait, I'm going to try to add Mary Beattie to the live. Carolyn. I'm going to add you, but it won't let us add you, Mary. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Karen. Hi, Carolyn. Hi, Louise. Um, hi, Karen. Um, okay, so we are going to be demoing how to do Silk Fusion today. So if you guys have any questions, just holler and we'll try to answer them or we'll make up something that sounds reasonable. Um, hi, Diane. Hi, Judy. Um, so here we kind of have a mess. Some of you um, were here when we interviewed Susan with Trenway Silks on um, how to do the Silk Fusion. She kind of talked about it, but we're actually going to get dirty here. And it is kind of messy. So when you do it at home, you might want to be outside or use protective coverings on your tables or whatnot. Um, hi, Anne. Hi, Mary. Um, okay, so we are going to show you. So this is a silk fusion that I... Introduce your helper. Oh, I, here's Lynn. Lynn's going to do it alongside of me. So we're both going to... Oh, I should have worn sunglasses. Um, so we're both going to create something fabulous. Um, but in the past, here's some of the samples that I've used. So basically, you're creating your own fabric out of the silks. So here I used, um, I added some wool. Um, you want me to get in the sun? Yeah, Gracie, thanks. can you bring me my glasses out of my purse? So this is wool, and you can see that the wool is not as lustrous or shiny or fabulous. Oops, Roger told me to move back. Yeah. No, oh, I was going to get my other glasses, but I guess those are okay. Um, thank you. Um, so you can see that the wool isn't as, as great, but it would be great for grass, a grassy area or something to that effect. But I cut it out and um, used it right here in this project that I did. So I cut it, I cut that out and used it for the leaves and the steps. And then the red part I used for the flower. And then a lot of you asked about the cocoons, those little round shaped silk pods. So this here is one that I cut in half and I smushed it down and then I just sewed to attach it. So that's how you can use a silk pod. And then here I just made a frame of some of the silk. So I just basically cut it out of here and then applicate it on. So that's kind of what we're gonna do with this process. Um, here's a couple other samples that I made. Um, this one, I just took all the threads that I found in the garbage can and threw them in just to see how they would react. And I did do a class with a gal who added a bunch of twigs and the twigs fused in also. So there's a lot of stuff that you can add to give it more texture. And here's one that we just kind of played randomly with. Um, so what color lens did you pick? Um, I picked the beige for the background. Uh -huh. And then I picked um, the greens to maybe make bushes or trees. And then some of the little um, fiber things. things. Okay, to perfect, go with. perfect. And then here's one that I did with black, the black silk. And then I added some Angelina. So for those of you that were fighting over the Angelina when we had it for sale, this is what it looks like when you add it. And then this is a silk hanky. So they come in little packs and you peel them apart. And I just laid it down. And when it gets wet in the process, it just kind of mushes out. So you can see here in the book. And the book tells you all about silks. But here's some more silk hankies. And there's a silk hanky. So the silk hankies are kind of fun, but you have to remember 
that you really have limited control over this process. Oh, is Gracie still watching? Gracie, bring me some Dove soap. Bring me some dishwasher soap. So here's also some silk hinkies that were used. So this is a really good book to show you the process and to give you some inspiration on projects to do. Okay, Grace, hey, how are you? We're in the middle of, look at, look at guys, your hero's here. Spectrum, he's here to try to make your guys, he's gonna fix it for you. Okay, nothing like putting him on the spot, huh? That's good, Okay, so we're gonna add some um, soap. We're gonna add some soap to our water because we don't want anything to stick. So, I don't know, just enough till you feel like it's enough. There's really no rules. So we're going to take, in your starter kit, did you get some of the blonde hair? No, this was all that goes, there wasn't any of that in your kit. There wasn't? No, just this. And, well, this one came in this. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to take the starter and you're just going to pull it apart like this. So you're going to build your base with this because it's less expensive than the um, silks that have been dyed. So you're just gonna pull it. If you try to pull it, oops, well, that wasn't a good example. Usually if you try to pull too much apart, it won't really tear. So you just wanna kind of hold it until it just comes right apart. See like that? And then you're just gonna place it down and you can pretty much do it however you want. And when you get really good at this, then you might not wanna use the well, I call it blonde because it looks like it's my hair. It's kind of gross. Um, you might not want to use so much of it um, because you might like the back side better than the front side. So today I'm not going to use the blonde because I want to just experiment and I might like the back side better than the front side. So, uh, Beth, do you want me to use this to cover the entire surface? Uh -huh, but you, so you only want to go... You want to make sure you leave two inches around about because you want to be able to pull it off of your screen when it dries. But if you don't, if you, if it comes off the edge, don't panic. Don't worry. It's not like the end of the world. So does it matter how thick you have it or does it need to be real thin as you're placing it? Um, or a variety. It can be however you want it to be, however thick okay. you want your fabrics to be. This is just, but we're going to mush it down it. like this. Okay. And so you can cross weave it if you want. Okay, so I can go the other uh -huh. direction too. And I want mine to be kind of a sky. So I'm going to do mine um, vertical, horizontal. So now can I add, like we're making this kind of as a background, would since I'm going to make a tree, uh -huh. would I then maybe have a brown to use? Uh, yep, you down can have it? brown. Okay, yeah. and then, um, Gracie, are you still listening? Spectrum wants to know if you're on LTE or, yeah, or the internet. What's up? On the internet. Looks like you're on the cellular. Um, usually if we're on cellular, they, they start complaining. Okay, hang on, girls. What What's up? Spectrum's going to be experienced with us today. Look at, you're totally right. Don't worry, they can see me. Okay. Priorities. I think they can see me at least. Can this I'm be used kind of as the tree can you upgrade to go the opposite? Not yet. Are we showing something? Opposite direction? Yeah. Can you okay. see anything? Nope. Hey, I can't see anything, Mom. It's all black. You want to do it on a non -video? Okay, girls, sorry about that. Oh, Roger's not reading mm -hmm. us the comments. So the left screen will stop, right? Um, on there? Yeah, when you have your problem. Is, uh, no, they both freeze up. Most of the time he only has one on. So, Gracie? They see me, that's all that matters. Okay, so usually it's like that unless we're doing a close-up and then he'll put the two screens on. But she's still 
she still has it on her computer. It just is not filming. It's not broadcasting. So who's on the other end of this? Right? How many people? People on Facebook and YouTube. It's like live to Facebook and YouTube. Okay. Okay. All right, girls. He's trying to fix it. Let me know if you see it. Yeah. If you have, if it freezes or anything, put it in the comments and we'll let him know. So he wanted to come during the actual event because they don't really believe me that we're having issues. Whoa, you want to do it on a non-windy day. Yeah, the wind is a little bit hazardous here, girls. So I'm just going to kind of put some purples. I want to do kind of a good sunsetty, magical sunsetty. Do you leave two inches all the way around, Beth? Yeah, okay. that way it will come off of your screen easier. Well, we should have checked to see that what the breeze was before we decided to do this outside. What you saying, Roger? Well, it's going to be a natural. Yes. It's going to be kind of just the way the world is. You have no control over anything in the world right now. So just roll So now, it. Beth, I can use this for kind of like the tree and the yep. limbs. You can create anything you want. But remember, when we get it wet, it might mush a little. It might spread yeah, a little. Mm -hmm. right? yeah. So really, this is just one of those things you guys want to play with. And Susan did send us packs of silk with different colors so that you can um, make some blues, some greens, some reds, in case you want to use it for your appliques. And she showed quite a few samples when we interviewed her, but we can always interview her again if you girls need to see the samples again. So I'm just holding it here and just pull, it's just pulling right apart. See that? So here's my chunk and I'm just pulling it right apart. And I don't really need mine to be too thick, I don't think, but I do need it to to um i do need it to be sturdy enough that it is solid but i don't need it real thick i don't think but i've never done it without a base layer so it is kind of an experiment so you can always learn from my mistakes but you can see it's super super easy and honestly, remember, if I can do it, anybody can do it. Well, she said ordinary people can do it. And I'm ordinary, but I don't know if I'm going to be doing it. You're doing it. <laughs> well, and see, so Lynn always takes things to the extreme. So I'll, I might give her an idea and then she comes back and she's like, blown it into this whole other world because her mind is so creative that it always blows me away so she um so she look at i'm just making up a, a bland sky here see how my sky is just a mushed of fabrics and colors and she's trying to create a whole design look at her go and I can guarantee you it's going to be fabulous. Well, we hope. It will just be recognizable. Are you doing a sky too? No. She's oh. doing a tree. Yeah, I'm just going to do a tree. Oh, okay. However much of a tree. I'm and then I think we can either cut the tree out yeah. or you could take paints or dyes, maybe some lit dyes and dye the blonde, whatever oh, color you want it. Yeah, but I'm gonna one. say, so I didn't really know what Lynn's intentions were until watching her. So I'm gonna say that Lynn maybe should have used like a blue instead of the blonde, blonde because you're creating a whole art piece. Maybe if you Ooh. can get it off your fingers. Yeah. Let's see And so, and I'm going to tell you, so if you guys were in the Monday class, um, and 
took some of the silk fibers and she put it between wash away and then she stitched kind of a, um, a bark stitch design on it and then washed it away and she had the silk fibers that she added to the um, panel that she was including in her um, curvy piece. You guys might need to go to the other side of the table. I okay. might get a better picture. You tell me, ladies. I know, Judy. There won't be a single problem with the guy watching, for sure. Um, so the wire that we're using, it is included in your starter kit. But if you want to do a bigger piece, um, you can go to um, the Home Depot or Lowe's and get window screen. So that's what I did when I did this project at a retreat. I went and I got a big roll of window screen and then cut it the size I wanted. So that is a really good option if you want to make a bigger piece. What's the percentage of the shrinking? None. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm going to just shove on my edges, shove it in so that it's not outside of my edges. Oh, that so ain't working. See how I have about a one inch my, around? What, what do you need? My shadow was in the picture, so I got to come back over here. Okay. So see here, girls, how I want about a one inch around my screen so that it stays. I don't really know why, but for some reason you need it. At least that's what the book says. But I don't honestly think you really need it because it without it, I think you get these really little edges. So I'm all for having weird and wild things in it. I don't necessarily need it to be um, all contained. Come here, help me. Oops. As you can see... Wait, let me plug Roger back in. Okay. So see how here on the edge, I have some wispies. So those probably weren't inside my screen. So then, oh, look at Lynn. She's going to town. <laughs> okay, any other questions, girls? Oh, Mary says, lock the spectrum guy in until it's fixed. Um, Peggy says, you're doing a great job. Mary Beatty, I do have starter kits. I have starter kits. I have the Sari Silk Fibers that you can just sprinkle in here. And they're, they just kind of, they're kind of like little veins. And then we also have, she sent us a ton new colors. So if you want, we can put them on Friday sale again. Um, and then she sent us these little packs with multicolors so that you can um, not have so much of one color if you, if you want more of a variety. And then we do, she sent us the books. And then I think while, we're, while Lynn's playing over there, I'm going to show you, I think what I'm going to do with this one, I just found this upstairs. It's a piece of upholstery fabric. Um, this is actually the right side of it, but I can't tell if I like the wrong side better. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn, turn this into a, a flower and then mount it onto something like that. Front side, back side. So, so it could look like this or it could look like this. So I haven't really decided. And I probably will change my mind altogether when I actually get to do it in six months. Um, perfect, Diane. I'll put those on Friday. Um, and I'll put the hummingbird on again, too, because I know we covered that quick. Um, hi, Sue. How's school going? Oh, it would be perfect for a journal cover. Look at, can you see? She's doing like the tree of life over here. Just never tell Lynn what to do, because <laughs> you'll always be amazed at what she comes up with. Watch your shadow. 
Um, Mary, it is kind of windy here. Yeah, so it's kind of blowy. Mary Beatty, Lynn, do you think it would work for my hair? Would what work for your hair? Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, now it's Mary. Look at your old hair here as oh, our yeah. tree trunk. Huh. <laughs> I know it's kind of creepy. July Parker Flowers, if you're still watching, we have an order for you, but we're not sure where you want us to send it. So if you still want it, um, call the shop and we will get um, your information and send it to you. 775, oh, it's scrolling across the bottom, but 775-267-0204. Um, okay, let's see. I'm trying to get read all your comments. I don't want any of you to think I'm ignoring you. I took a cute weeding class last night. Oh, post it. Diane, post it. I don't know if you belong to the Fabric Chick Stitch Along, but on the side of the page, somewhere on our Facebook page, it it allows you to ask to join the, the Fabric Chick Stitch Along. And that's where all the ladies post what they're working on or if they have questions on, you know, what border should they add, they post it there. Um, and we also post the Zoom links for the free Zoom on Sunday afternoons. So join that. Hi, Marilyn. It's been a long time since I've seen you. Um, and, oh, Kathleen says, thank you for always videoing, Roger. Mm, you're welcome. Okay. All okay, right. I'm going to stop right here. And then Lynn's going to stop. When it's done, then when I cut it out or use it, I'm going to add more of a three-dimensional and extend part of the tree up. So we'll leave this as a base. Okay, girls, don't worry. This is a staple for those of you that already feel overwhelmed with too many projects. Don't worry because we tend to, if we love a technique, we keep it in the shop all the time. So when you're ready for a new project, just say, hey, demo that again. Because really the only time I get to play with this stuff is when we're demoing. So, um, and then Diane, the panels of the day that Gracie does with the stupid joke that are 50% off, those are good for that day only. So after that day's over, then she takes it off sale. But um, if you, you can order it and just say um, to, that you're gonna pick it up and we'll throw it in your basket that we have because we have people's baskets that are going all week long. So all week we just throw stuff in it as you guys are watching the videos or you get the emails. Okay, any other questions? Okay, they wanna see your tree. Up close and personal, Roger. Shadows. Sorry. So all we're doing is we took the silk screen and we do have the starter kits that include the silk screen, a bottle of the textile medium that we're gonna use, um, the blonde hair, I call it the blonde, it's the natural hair that you can use as a base. Um, so typically um, your first few times, you might wanna try something where you're just creating fabric, kind of like this. That's what I would should have done. No. Uh, Len, you always go <laughs> above and beyond. That's what we love. Okay, so here we've just created fabric, okay. right? Here we've created fabric, and we can cut this fabric out and use it as fabric for appliquing, or you could fold this in half make and sew it and make a journal cover, right? If it was the right size, but it's not, I don't think. Well, I guess depending on what size journal cover you want, but you can totally... So um, take this and turn it under like this and stitch on it and create a journal cover or a date book cover or a checkbook or a little container to hold your so, uh, rotary cutter or your scissors. It basically just becomes your own unique piece of fabric. Okay, so 
Do you have another screen? No. Okay, so we're gonna take this screen and put that over yours. Push the top of your tree in. Yep, there you go. Yeah, it looks better when it's a little bit smaller. Okay, we're containing it here, girls. And then what we're gonna do, and in your starter kit, it comes with a brush. Leilani still has her silk fusion piece that she made at our Tahoe retreat. Leilani, post a picture of it if you have it. I don't know if you have it, because you're not, you're, you're at your other house. But if you have it, post a picture so we can see it in the Fabric Chick Stitch Along. And then, um, Okay, Kathy, the, how much are the silk fabrics for making the kits? Um, the starter kit is $29.95, and then the silks are $19.95. So you can get a multi-pack, she calls them fusion fun packs, or you can get, like this one's called Sunset. This is the one I wanted to do, but Gracie said I did not want a blood sky. So from the mouths of 15 year olds, but the starter kit to get you started is $29.95. Uh-oh, what'd I do? I'm back. What'd you do? Ooh, no. Okay, sorry about that. Here, just hold it like that. It's easy for you to say. Okay. All right. So here is mine before I get it wet. One more time. I'm going to show you guys. Whoops. I'm not really going to show you because it's stuck to my screen now. Okay. So now we're just going to pour. I've got wa just regular water. Oops. Look at Lynn's got stuff under the table thinking it's safe. She doesn't know us very well. This is why we're not doing it inside. Because if I do it inside, then I have to mop the kitchen floor afterwards. So I'm just going to take my water. You want it to be really very wet. I do it in the shower. You could do it in the shower. Okay. And then, so you want it really wet. And then you're just going to kind of go like this and smush it to make sure that your fibers are all wet. Okay? I'm just going to get electrocuted. Uh-oh. So it needs to be very wet. If you don't get it wet, the textile medium won't adhere to it. So if you just rub it really nice, like it's your dog or your kids. What do you need, Grace? Wait, let me touch you. No. Becky's still here? Oh, she didn't. I don't think she paid it. Oh, um, usually she schedules another one. Yeah, we just put the, the deposit towards that. Okay, so we just put the deposit towards it, so you can charge her from 9 o'clock this morning. And she's free, actually. Okay. Keep rubbing it to make sure you get to all the fibers. It doesn't matter how sudsy it is. So the deposit just from today just goes to the next one. Uh, they put soap in the water, yeah. Mary, before they uh, uh, we took did our, anything. We took our soap and we just dumped it into the water so that it would be there. because it's from before. Okay, and then if you're really into this, you can, we have bigger bottles of the textile medium you can get. And then I'm just gonna go like this. That's why I use this, right? Yep. Okay. And what is that? Textile medium. That's all it's called, it's textile medium. Okay, so I'm pretty sure any kind of textile medium probably will work. It might have, oops. 
it might have a little bit different results. Like we had some try to get away. Whoa, whoa. We're gonna shove that back under there and hope for the best. Okay. Textile medium, ladies. So if your kit does come with a brush, but I just feel like I like to be close and personal. So I rather wow. get a little bit messy. Uh-oh, Roger got a little bit of glue on him and he's all upset. Uh-oh. Just wipe it on your pants. Oh, my, my pants. Does it wash out? How much of this should you I'm using the whole bottle. Um, sure. Well, you might not need the whole bottle. It? It's empty. Okay. Okay. So I'll just put my whole all the way in there. Okay? Yep. Okay. So you just want to make sure it's really good and saturated and that the glue is going through all the layers. You'll be really sad if it doesn't get all the way through. And when I did it with the, um, when I added the wool, when I was experimenting with the wool fibers, no matter how much I put in there, because it's more porous than silk, it really didn't take the glue very well. So the green is from a sheep, a local sheep, a local, a sheep, a sheep. Is there a singular for sheep? No, sheep is sheep. Okay, so yeah. So there you go, one moment. Um, so here it is. It does stick, but it doesn't fuse the same as the silks. Okay, so that's it, girls. You're gonna have to tune in for Friday. Um, Friday will show you what it looks like. Okay? So any questions about that? Roger has to ask, because now my hands are gooey. Uh, Ann Lindemeyer Textile, is it like a glue? Yes. It says... Anna Simpson says, hi. Hi, Anna. How's your daughter? Now, does it have the same context as if you were to take Elmer's glue and water it down? Could I would, I do not know. I don't know what the Maybe difference have is. have ceramic and yeah. crack at water it down. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Um, use with... For permanent non fading textile paint, use on natural non synthetic fibers. Textile medium is only necessary if the decorated fabric is to be laundered or dry clean. Um, so I'm not really sure. Yeah, blue probably wouldn't work then because it peels away. Yeah. Look at there's a whole section here though in Chinese or Japanese or something. I can't read that. But it's made in New South Wales. So, Rondi Reeves says, sure looks like fun. It is, Rondi. Oh, yeah, it is. Maybe when you come up next time, we'll do it. You can be the you can be the guinea pig. Why don't we have a party? We could. We could have a party. An outside party. party. Mary Mintz wants to know how much soap is in the water. Uh, you can come up and watch it live. Um, Mary, I just put it in until I felt like stopping. There's no necessary, however much you want. Do you I just leave it on the table to dry? That's from De Debbie Clarkson. Yeah, you can. I probably will throw it on a bush. That way it gets dry on both sides. See, but that's our hanging you, bush over there on yeah, the corner. Otherwise, you could. Um, I used to hang it on the little fence, but I don't think it's so safe there. But I'm getting out the excess. Oh, all over my pants and shoes. Kathy Myers want to know, is the fabric washable when done? Yes, it says it is on the thing. Washable or dry cleanable, it said on there. It did? Yeah, well. On the textile medium? Yeah. Sure. Um, I don't know. We'll have to ask Susan because I'm sure she's medium. played with it. I wouldn't wash it in hot water. Yeah, I might dab spot clean it. Here, maybe we can swing it on the... Diane Hensley wants to know, did you add that uh, to her bag? Um, I added the glue, the textile medium, Diana. It's in your box. Okay, so that's it. So you girls are going to have to tune in on Friday to see what it looks like when it's dry. Any other questions, Roger? Uh, Judy Baxter says she used it in fabric painting to, to keep uh, acrylic paint soft. 
Oh, uh, the textile media? Yeah. 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 And I know we used... Um, Man, Jenkins said you're all so funny. There are different textile mediums, I know. I know that when we were doing the coloring pages, we used the... Um, we use the textile extender. So there's all kinds of different mediums that you can use that will, I guess, secure your, whatever it is you're doing. Uh, Mary Min says, that sounds like uh, it's a glue for paint. Yeah, it is. I think the extender I know was, but I think you can use it for multiple things. Mary, you just have to experiment and see what works and what effects you like. Or watch us, and then you can learn from our mistakes, and then you know what you don't want to do. <laughs> and everybody says, great video, thanks, and okay, we'll show you the uh, such fun. Product. We'll show you the finished product on Friday. All right, Bye, have a good everybody. week. Now we got to check with Spectrum and see what they saw. Okay. All right, ladies, see you on Friday. Hi, ladies. Let's do it, too. It's Wild Wednesday at 2. Oh, Wild Wednesday at 2, ladies. Wild Rusty Barnes, um, and we've got, I think there's like four or five giveaways, and Monica from Monica's Bead Shop, um, I don't know, we got a bunch of people, all right, don't forget to join us, You'll, you, you don't want to be sorry if you miss it, see you at two. All right, bye ladies.